in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and a winding river. There lived two neighbors, Aliza and Amelia. They had been friends since childhood, sharing laughter, secrets, and dreams. Their homes were next to each other, separated only by a white picket fence that represented the unbreakable bond they shared. One fateful day, a misunderstanding arose between them. It began innocently enough, with a disagreement about the color of a rare flower that bloomed in their gardens. But what should have been a trivial matter escalated into a bitter feud. Fueled by pride and stubbornness. As days turned into weeks, the two friends transformed into bitter rivals. They stopped talking, exchanged icy glances and even began to gossip about each other to their other neighbors. The village, once known for its harmony, became a tense and divided place. One evening, an elderly traveler arrived in the village. His name was Old Man Elias, with a long white beard that reached his chest and eyes that seemed to hold the wisdom of ages. He was a figure both mysterious and intriguing. News of his arrival spread quickly. And soon the entire village was abuzz with excitement. Curious about the stranger, Eliza and Amelia set aside their differences for a moment and decided to visit old man Elias. They found him sitting by the riverbank, his gaze fixed on the water as if lost in thought. Excuse us, sir, Amelia began tentatively. We've heard of your wisdom and wanted to seek your advice. You see, we were once the best of friends. But a silly dispute has torn us apart. Old man Elias looked at them with kind eyes. His lips curling into a gentle smile. Ah, the burdens of grudges and misunderstandings, he mused. My dear children, allow me to tell you a tale. He began to weave a story of two neighboring kingdoms. Once united in harmony, a disagreement over a bridge across the river which connected their lands, escalated into a bitter war. Generations passed, and the bridge crumbled into ruins, serving as a haunting reminder of the past. Years later, old man Elias continued. A wise leader rose in one of the kingdoms he recognized the futility of holding on to grudges that had spanned lifetimes. He decided to rebuild the bridge as a symbol of forgiveness and unity. The other kingdom's leader, initially skeptical, eventually realized the value of this gesture and joined hands in mending the bridge. Aliza and Amelia exchanged glances, moved by the story. But what can we do? Aliza asked, her voice trembling with emotion. Old man Elias stood up, his gaze fixed on the horizon. The bridge between you is not of wood and stone but of memories and friendship. Just as those kingdoms learned to let bygones be bygones, you too can mend your bond. Remember the moments you've shared. The laughter, the tears. Apologize for your part in this feud. And forgive each other. Tears welled up in their eyes as they realized the depth of their mistake. With old man Elias's guidance, they walked back to their village. Determined to heal their friendship, they stood at the broken picket fence, their hearts heavy yet hopeful. I am sorry, they said simultaneously, tears streaming down their faces. With that simple admission, the years of bitterness began to dissolve. They embraced, the weight of their grudge lifting as if it were never there. Words spread through the village about their reconciliation and it served as a catalyst for healing. The harmony that once defined the village was restored, and the bitterness that had plagued the hearts of its inhabitants began to fade. From that day forward, Eliza and Amelia tended to their gardens side by side, nurturing both their flowers and their friendship. And every year, on the anniversary of their reconciliation, the village would celebrate the Bridge of Forgiveness. A reminder that the bonds of friendship are worth mending. And that letting bygones be bygones can lead to a future of unity and happiness.